Hey, what's up guys? Um, I hope this thing's still working. I think it is. It's been a while since I did a video like this. I've been into this car audio stuff for quite some time now. Um, obviously, that's all. It's all over my channel. But I wanted to do a quick video on this because I saw a video today that was entitled um, Why is it why why drought in the United States heartland? Why is there drought? And I have my own opinion on this, so I'm going to give it to you. And whether you like it or not, this is what I believe, and this is what I think is happening. So I'm going to tell you. Uh, about two, three years ago, I don't know if anybody remembers this or not, but they started moving. Um, they started moving around airport runways because the pilots were coming in and their their uh, equipment was off. And when they tried to land, they were not being able to land because. They weren't going to hit the runway, so they had to move the runways in order to correct that. And I know that everyone's heard, you know, all the rumors of pole shift for all this time, but I'm telling you right now, it's the only thing that makes any sense to me. Uh, what they were telling us is that the poles were going to move from where where the North Pole is, which would also move the South Pole, obviously, and it was slowly but surely moving toward northern Russia somewhere, Siberia. Okay which makes absolutely perfect sense. Now look at this globe. Okay, now we're north and south, right? What happens if you move the North Pole this way? I've made videos like this before, but I'm making this again just to kind of re reiterate what I think is going on. If the North Pole moves from this position into northern Siberia, what's happening on the globe right now is exactly what's going to happen. Uh, anyone heard anybody say lately that uh, England is, is having an ice age, a mini ice age, or the United Kingdom, or Scotland, or, you know, Ireland, all that kind of stuff, that they're saying that they're having kind of a mini ice age right now, that it's really cold everywhere over there, which it is really cold. Very cool, comparative to normal. Um, right now, in the middle, the heartland of the United States, right here where I, I live here, in this area, uh, everything's drying up. Everything's drying up. It's getting really hot here. The sun looks different than it's ever looked in this area. And the only thing that makes any sense to me, the only reason that would happen, is if the pole did shift, or it is slowly shifting, which brings us closer to the equator, which makes it hotter than the Dickens here and dries everything up, turns us into a desert climate, and would freeze everything in this vicinity, okay? Because it's moving closer to the North Pole. So this becomes the northern ice cap, whereas it used to be here, which it is not anymore, obviously. It's moving this way. So we got some serious stuff going on right now, guys. And I'm just throwing this out there because I know a few of my friends are going to see this and they're going to say, hey, that actually makes sense because it's getting real hot right here and it's getting real cold right here. So, uh, you know, that means this is moving north and that's moving south. So just throwing this out there, guys, see how many hits I can get on this, see how many people I can have telling me I'm retarded and everything else. I don't think I'm stupid. I think this is I think this is what's really happening. I think our poles are slowly shifting, and that's why we're seeing these higher temperatures here, cooler temperatures here. What you think, guys? Give me your opinion. Uh, I've been off this 2012 stuff for a while. I just see a lot of videos about this type of thing, uh, only no one's mentioning what I just said. You know, I really think we got some shift going on, guys. What do you think? Anybody else think we got some shift going on? Uh, leave me some comments and stuff on here. Let me know what you think. Have a good night.